This tutorial will show you how to arrange things in a circle using a radio dial as an example. We're going to start with a tick mark. I'm going to change the properties of the tick mark and make it a thicker tick mark, four point, and change the color by using the eyedropper. Then we're going to align the tick mark with the center of the object here, the dial. And we're going to start rotating the object. We take the rotation handle, bring it down to the center, use transformations. We're going to change the degrees to 30 with 11 copies, meaning 12 total. And we end up with 12 big tick marks. We're going to combine those tick marks into a single curve. Rename it for reference as big tick marks. Going to change the size to seven inches. Then we're going to add another tick mark, smaller one. That's going to be in between the larger ones. So we're going to change the properties to two points, half the size, and also change the color. Then align that thinner tick mark with the main, main dial object. Rotate, get the rotation point, bring it down to the center, transform, and now we're going to use 6 for angles and 59 for copies, meaning 60 total. Similarly, we're going to join those curves together. and rename them also for reference as small tick marks. Change the uh, size of the, the curve to seven inches by seven inches. And align again on the center So we have a nice array of big and intermediate tick marks. Then we're going to add numbers on the outside. You can also do this with text. 18 points. Change the properties. Pick up the same color as we did before. Click to rotate. Align centers. Now we're going to click to rotate, sorry. Pull down to the center and you and start transformations again on the rotation. And this will also be 30 degrees with 11 copies for 12 numbers total. Then we group those. I'm, re I'm renaming them just for convenience. Align on the center of the page. Ungroup, because we're going to be able to change each of the numbers appropriate to its tick mark. So we have five. Ten.
and 15. And this is rather tedious, so you, I'm just going to stop this here so you see we would continue this around. Thanks for watching.